Hi, I'm Dan Gelbart, and this is a power plant based on a Uniflow steam engine. The power plant and steam engine look old-fashioned, but actually it uses a lot of modern technology, which I'll explain later. So let's start it up. Open the steam well. This plant runs at 30 to 40 atmospheres and has uh, many electronic controls that I'll demonstrate in a minute. So, so right now, I'm running at near minimum speed. I can up. Okay, so what is different about this engine? That first of all, it doesn't require any lubrication. It uses the steam itself as lubrication by using more modern materials like carbon composite and ceramics. Now, let's get more steam. Now, the second thing which is unique about it is that it uses piston-operated valves. There are two valves inside. One valve is an exhaust valve inside the piston, and another valve is an inlet valve opened by the piston and kept open by an electromagnetic field. Basically, there is a coil here which generates a magnetic field keeping the valve open. And what this allows is to change the timing electronically so I can change the cutoff. I can change the cutoff of the engine completely electronically. The condensed steam turn, the steam returns into the condenser from which a feed pump is pushing into the boiler. There are a few servo loops. There's one servo loop controlling the feed of gas to the boiler, which is based on the pressure of the steam. Okay, we start the boiler and you can see the flame if you look inside here it's, it's running on camping a bottle of butane just like a camping stove okay now we have to wait a few minutes to get up to steam okay now the steam comes in through here the inlet valve is opened by the piston the steam expands and the exhaust port is uncovered by the piston. The steam goes to the condenser, condenses and gets pumped by this pump back to the boiler. The timing of the inlet valve is controlled electromagnetically by this coil. I can change the timing electronically by changing it here. If I increase the timing, capable of about half a horsepower when running at 6,000 RPM. Right now it's electronically governed to 3,000 RPM. So the meters monitor the voltage, the regulate voltage, the current, the RPM, the temperature, and the water level. As I change the cutoff, the power of the engine goes up a lot. understand the operation, this is a cross-section of the engine. Let's start with the exhaust cycle. Imagine the piston is moving this way, the piston valve is open, so the steam gets around the piston valve. There are some elongated ports here in the piston valve which connect to the ports in the cylinder, so the steam comes out of here and goes to the condenser. At the end of this cycle, the piston returns. At the end of the exhaust cycle, the piston is moved all the way to here. The tip of the valve is pushing on the inlet valve and opening it against the steam pressure. Once it opened it, steam comes in here at high pressure and this stays closed because the steam pressure is pushing against it against a very weak spring. So now the piston is moving this way, this valve is closed, this valve was opened by the piston but is kept open by a magnetic field produced by this coil. This coil produces a magnetic field which goes all the way through this, all the way through this. It takes very little magnetic field to keep the valve open once it was opened by the piston. Now the duration of this magnetic field controls what's called the cutoff, 
how much of the cycle steam will be coming in. So let's say it's, it's kept open, let's say for a tenth of the stroke, steam is coming in and expanding. So the steam keeps pushing the piston until the piston reaches this point and uncovers the exhaust port. As soon as it uncovers the exhaust port, the ste leftover steam can escape and the pressure drops to atmospheric. Once the pressure drops to atmospheric, the weak spring here opens the valve again and now the piston can return without back pressure because it's vented to the atmosphere and the cycle repeats.